So this is the final video in the server-side JavaScript series, and here we're going to look and see how we debug our server-side code. So the first thing you want to do is insert a line of code in the function you want to debug. You put in debugger, and you'll notice that this is uh, inside the DB selects virtual file. Um, so as soon as it hits this, it's going to stop. But what I need to do, to do, which is different to the client, is I initiate the debugging by pressing the SSJ debug here in the button bar. So let's um, switch that on. That's going to bring up a debugger window. At the moment, it's empty because I haven't even started the execution of my app. So let's go back in here and press preview, and that's going to start it running. And here we are. It's telling us that we're now going into debug mode, stopped on a breakpoint. I press go. And here you can see our function. Um, I can step over. I can inspect variables. Let's remove this watch expression. Let's add one back in. Let's watch the uh, result object. The moment it's not set, because I haven't really got to the line where it will get set. Uh, right, when I step over this line, it should get set. And here we are. We can see it's now been set with an array. So this is actually the result set of the query where we're getting a list of customers. So let's expand it. And there is the result set, an array of objects. Each object contains all the three fields from our simple database table. So here we've got, we've got the company name, country, and the ID for this individual record. And that all looks fine. So I can carry on execution, let's press the run button, let's close that window down now and you can see here it's populated that list. So that's all there is to it really, it's slightly different for the client-side debugging um, and that concludes the server-side JavaScript series.